Bilingual Web Magazine. Dig Tokyo. Here in Business 006. Classical music and jazz compilations for training your ears. High fidelity CDs for testing audio equipment. 2. 1. Prologue. We live in a day and age when we can instantaneously obtain pretty much any song that we wish on demand through services like iTunes Store. And we can listen to songs on streaming services like Spotify till our ears bleed. So there may be some out there who feel that CDs have become obsolete. However, the music you can get your hands on through platforms like these are often subpar in terms of sound quality. Many of them deal chiefly in music data that is MP3 quality or equivalent. MP3s are about one tenth the size of music files on CDs, meaning the sound quality is compromised. Although, when listening through the type of in ear headphones that come with smartphones or a computer's internal speakers, it's difficult to notice anything amiss. In other words, the sound quality is the bare minimum required for the music to be listened to without any issues. Like background music at a restaurant, you are only passively listening, but if you're more of an active listener, MP3s will not cut it for music. For recommendations on sound systems, check out a couple of articles Big Brother has written on the subject. Have you ever listened to music on one of these streaming services and then later had trouble remembering what exactly you listened to? These days, when I ask people what kind of music they listen to, I get many answers along the lines of I listen to a lot of different music, but it's on a streaming service, so I don't have a specific musician or song title. The extent of the conversation becomes I've heard this somewhere before. Unlike a radio DJ who chooses new records and unleashes them onto the airwaves as if they were secrets they couldn't keep to themselves any longer, or who goes to the trouble of digging up old gems that audiences need to know, the internet, while it wins out in terms of sheer volume of music, lacks the discerning eye to separate the wheat from the chaff. CD music compilations don't suffer from either of these problems. In most cases, they are chosen. Or, to use a more current term, curated by a professional who is knowledgeable in the genre, and the sound quality is considerably superior to MP3. Depending on the disc, a CD can hold up to 79 minutes and 30 seconds of music. That number may seem pointless in an internet of ostensibly infinite capacity, but it serves as a quality control mechanism. There is space only for what is necessary. Good compilations are a collection of music that should be considered required listening. They are enlightening, enriching experiences that educate the listener and refine their taste in music. 2. On good music and good sound quality. Let's begin with some classical music and jazz compilation CDs. What is good music? What is good sound quality? These are eternal questions. Ultimately, I suppose the answer depends on a person's preferences. But in order to have tastes in music in the first place, you need a baseline, a certain amount of listening experience, a reliable standard by which to judge other music. If you want to get a sense of what good music and good sound quality is, my recommendation is familiarizing yourself with classical music and jazz, both traditional yet universal genres. Of course, both classical music and jazz have their own pantheons of music and musicians that would take a lifetime to get through. And for someone new to the genre, it is difficult to know where to start. That's where compilations come in. Listen and compare, and get a sense of what you may like. Japanese record companies and record stores like Tower Records, which lives on in Japan, put out a range of compilations that are surprisingly well thought out. To those visiting Japan, I recommend seeking out some of these CD compilations. These Japan only releases make great souvenirs. 3. Classical music compilations. For beginners, listening to full on symphonies may not be the best place to start. Symphonies are long, and as a point of entry, will not do anything to dispel the notion that classical music is boring. Compilations lower the bar for entry by bringing together the best, read, catchiest parts of different classical music pieces, making it easier for listeners to get a general sense of what kind of composers and what kind of forms. Symphonies, concertos, opera, etc., they may be into. Footnote Symphonies are pieces written for an orchestra. They are usually comprised of four movements, 
characterized by an expansive scale, and have a beginning, middle, and end. Footnote. Concertos are written for a solo performer accompanied by an orchestra. For example, a violin concerto is performed by a violinist backed by an orchestra. They are usually comprised of three parts. Footnote. Opera is a form of theater that mixes drama and music. Unlike musicals, where music is just one of the many tools through which a story is told, operas are predominantly told through song, and the singers are usually accompanied by a live orchestra. At its best, classical music is food for the soul, a waterfall of sensual pleasures. Once you fall down the rabbit hole, you start to pick up on subtle differences between different performances of the same piece by different musicians in different venues. Classical Music Compilation Picks Greatest Classics Piano no Mori Piano Best Collection 1 Beautiful Classical Melodies 100 Classics New Best Opera 100 New Best Piano 100 Best Wiener Philharmoniker 100 Best Karajan 100 Best Concertos 100 4. Getting into jazz music and vocal jazz. Jazz music is a time-honored tradition, its own kind of classical music in a sense. Like classical music, the pantheon of jazz music is expansive, which is both a blessing and a curse. The barrier to entry is high. It's difficult to know where to start, which musician, which CD. Subgenres in jazz have developed and fluctuated along with the times, and musicians, likewise, can sound completely different depending on the era. Case in point, Miles Davis. Getting into jazz is like casting out into the vast expanse of sea. Start your journey by venturing out into shallow waters. Buy a variety of jazz compilations and get a sense of the tides and the direction. For absolute beginners, those who've mainly been into pop music, vocal jazz is a great place to start. Thankfully, Tower Records has been putting out a great series of jazz and vocal jazz compilations. Consider them your initiation into the world of jazz music. Jazz Compilation Picks Beautiful Jazz Piano Emotional Jazz Saxophone Heartful Jazz Trumpet Grateful Jazz Trombone Beautiful Jazz Piano Two. Sunday at the Riverside, the best time of jazz piano, one. Rolling jazz drums. Splendid jazz guitar. Good vibes, jazz vibraphone. Soul of jazz. Vocal jazz compilation picks. Jazz Sexiest Ladies, volumes one through four. Five, fusion compilations. In the 80s and 90s, a jazz fusion and crossover craze swept across Japan. Jazz fusion is a genre characterized by fusing jazz music, which originated in African-American communities in New Orleans, with a variety of musical elements from other ethnic and folk music. The borderless feel and mix of genres resonated with Japanese audiences, perhaps because Japanese culture itself is an amalgamation of different elements. The genre came to be known under other names, such as smooth jazz, and continues to have a dedicated following in the U.S. It is even more popular in Japan. In recent years, Tower Records has been releasing a series of jazz fusion compilations. Whether you're a longtime fan of the genre or have chosen to keep your distance, these CDs deserve a listen. Jazz Fusion Compilation Picks Anytime Fusion, The Best of Fusion Anytime Fusion the Best Fusion of Victor Archives Everybody Fusion The Best Fusion of Warner Days Absolutely Fusion The Best Fusion of Sony Music Tunes Drive Music Best Instrumentals Fusion Paradise Best Selection Seaside Carnival 6. Epilogue Many of these types of compilations are Japan-only releases, so I encourage all jazz fans visiting Japan to swing by Tower Records in Shibuya to check out some of the CDs I've listed in this article. Gear in Business 006 Classical Music and Jazz Compilations for Training Your Ears High Fidelity CDs for Testing Audio Equipment 2 
www.digtokyo.jp